Daily Readings for November 8th The Four Holy Crowned Martyrs Four Brothers Severus, Severian, Carpophoros, and Victorianus are so called because they suffered martyrdom together for the faith in 304. Grant we beseech thee, Almighty God, that we, who acknowledge the steadfast of thy glorious martyrs in bearing witness to the faith, may experience their loving intercession for us before thee. Through our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. A reading to the letter of the Hebrews, chapter 11, verses 33 through 39. Brethren, the saints by faith conquered kingdoms, wrought justice, obtained promises, stopped the mouths of lions, quenched the violence of fire, escaped the edge of the sword, recovered strength from weakness, became valiant in battle, to put flight armies of aliens. Women had their dead restored to them by resurrection. Others were tortured, refusing to accept release, that they might find a better resurrection. Others had experience of mockery and stripes, yes, even of chains and prisons. They were stoned, they were sawed asunder, they were tempted, they were put to death by the sword, they were about in sheepskin and goatskins, destitute, distressed, afflicted, of whom the world was not worthy, wandering in deserts, mountains, caves, and holes in the earth, and all these approved by the testimony of faith were found in Christ Jesus our Lord. From Psalms 112, verses 1, 2, 4, 5, and 9. Happy the man who takes pity and lends. Happy the man who fears the Lord, who takes delight in all his commands. His sons will be powerful on earth. The children of the upright are blessed. Happy the man who takes pity and lends. He is a light in the darkness for the upright. He is generous, merciful, and just. The good man takes pity and lends. He conducts his affairs with honor. Happy the man who takes pity and lends. Open-handed he gives to the poor. His justice stands firm forever. His head will be raised in glory. Happy the man who takes pity and lends. Alleluia, Alleluia. Because of your love, give me life, and I will do your will. Alleluia. A reading from the Gospel of Luke, chapter 14, verses 25 through 33. Anyone who does not carry his cross and follow me cannot be my disciple. Great crowds accompanied Jesus on his way, and he turned and spoke to them. If any man comes to me without hating his father, mother, wife, children, brothers, sisters, yes, and his own life too, he cannot be my disciple. Anyone who does not carry his cross and come after me cannot be my disciple. Indeed, which of you here intended to build a tower would not first sit down and work out the cost to see if he had enough to complete it. Otherwise, if he laid the foundation and then found himself unable to finish the work, the onlookers would all start making fun, saying, Here is the man who started to build and was unable to finish. Or again, What king marching to war against another king would not first sit down and consider whether, with ten thousand men, he could stand up to the other, who advanced against him with twenty thousand. If not, then while the other king was still a long way off, he would send envoys to sue for peace. So in the same way, none of you can be my disciple unless he gives up all his possessions. Praise be to you, Lord Jesus Christ. If you haven't already, supporting our channel is as easy as subscribing to our channel and hit the bell icon so you can be the first to know when we release new videos. If you like our content, 
please consider sharing it with your friends. Until then, stay blessed and spread the word in your actions.